Good morning, my sister, brother, Bertha Ward here, trusting that you are doing well. Happy Preparation Day. How are you today? Happy Preparation Day, I tell you. When the sun is set today, it's going to be the Sabbath. And the Sabbath, according to Exodus 20, verse 8 through 11, talks about the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath day, and it starts on Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So how are you? Trusting that you are well. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer before going to our lesson. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing and for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, well, our scripture is coming from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12. Isaiah 40, verse 12. Who has measured the water in the hollow of his hand, and the meat out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountain in scales, and the hill in a balance. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, and the hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so we are in God's power, exercised constantly in nature. God's power, exercised constantly in nature. Father God, as we go into this topic, open our hearts and mind to receive and in, to receive this information. Thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it says, the psalmists say that the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth the hand of works. Day unto day uttered speech and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. Some may suppose that these grand things in nature, let me go back. Some may suppose that these grand things in, in the nature or in the natural world are gods. They are not gods. All these wonders in the heavens are only doing the work appointed them. There are the Lord's agency. God is the superintendent as well as the creator of all things. Let me repeat that. There are the Lord agency. God is the superintendent as well as the creator of all things. The divine being is engaged in upholding the things that he had created. The same hands that hold the mountains and balance them in position guides the world in their mysterious march around the sun. There is scarcely an operation of nature to which we may not find reference in the word of God. The word declared that he made it the sun to shine and the rain to descend. He make it grass to grow upon the mountains and he give it snow like wool he scattered the horse frost like ashes. He casted forth his ice like muscle. He sent it out his word and melted them. He caused the wind to blow and the water flows. He make it lightning from the rain and bring it the wind out of his treasures. These words of holy right says nothing of the independent law of nature. God furnished the matter and properties with which to carry out his plans. He employs his agency, the vegetation that flourished. He sent the dew and the rain and the sunshine, and the vesture may spring forth and spread its carpet over the earth, that the shrub and the fruit trees may bud and blossom and bring forth. It is not to be supposed that the law is set in motion for the seed to work itself, that the leaf appear because it must do so of itself. God has laws that he has instituted but there are only the servant through which he affects results. 
It is through the immediate agent, agency of God that every tiny seed breaks through the earth and spring into life. Every leaf grows, every flower blossom by the power of God. Every leaf grows, every flower blossom by the power of God. So that concludes my devotion, my sister and brother. God's power exercised constantly in nature. So there's a balance in nature. So let me read Isaiah. This is like the New King, New King James Version. And it says here, Who has measured the water in the hollow of his hand? Measured heaven with the span and calculate the dust of the earth in a measure. Weigh the mountain in the scale and the hills in the balance. This is coming from Isaiah 40, verses 12. And I just read in your hearing Isaiah 40, verse 12. But that's the King James Version. And this is the New King James. I prefer the King James. So, But nevertheless, for those of you that have a better understanding, uh, this you know it's a little bit clearer for you uh, with this version. So with that, my sister and brother, we have to make sure that we know that God has everything working for us, for our good. And he has agency that's working for him. And he has laws that's already in place. And everything you see in nature is going by God's design. So let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Thank you for for the mountains, for the valleys, for the water, for the thundering, for the lightning last night. Thank you for the rain last night, Father God. With Father God, we thank you for being such a mighty God, Father God, that before we even ask you, Father God, you already sent angels to answer each and every one of our prayer, and we want to give you praise, honor, and glory. So, Father, we ask you to examine each and every one of us. If we have said or done anything today that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you that you will forgive us, wash us, Father God, and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we promise to do better the next time. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering. To the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so this is Bird of Word. Find me at birdofword.com. Follow me over YouTube. There's a wealth of information there for you and your entire family. I know we said, where is your grandbaby? My grandbaby, my, my daughter woke up, and so she has the baby right now. So that's where she is right now. She's spending some time with her aunt. So with that, my sister and brother, I love you, appreciate you. Oh, but before you go, let us do the four hugs for survival. So we know that is four for survival, eight for maintenance, and there's 12 hugs for growth. But we're only going to do the four, four, four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you, my sister and brother. I love you. Have a super awesome Sabbath. And those of you that's already celebrating the Sabbath, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. I tell you, there's nothing like celebrating the Sabbath that God designed for his, uh, for his people. The Sabbath is Saturday, my sister, my brother, and will forever be Saturday. Forever be Saturday. And you can go ahead and Google who changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. And that's the system. I'm not talking about the people. God got, God, God got his children, all these different denominations. He has his children there. And he is calling them out. A Revelation 14, verses uh, 6 to 12. God it says, Babylon is falling, is falling. It's a false system of worship, my sister and brother. God day will forever be Saturday. It was never Sunday. So you can go ahead and do the research yourself, my sister and brother. So we know that there's coming a persecution for God's children. The one that decide to keep all of God's commandment. Not nine, but all of his commandment. And the day is coming soon, my sister and brother. So let us continue to study the word of God like we never studied before. So we could be grounded in the word of God. And we could say, thus said the Lord. And I'm going to do base. I'm going to follow based on what God says, not what man says. Remember, man can take a life, but God will raise you up, right? So God is looking for an individual that is willing to die for him, my sister and brother, that's willing to die for him, willing to be the example that Jesus has called each one of us to be, a living example of him. So the time is coming, my sister and brother, soon, 
man is staying Sunday, God says Saturday. So who are you going to believe? I pray that you have made your calling and election sure, standing on the winning team. From Genesis to Revelation, the plan of redemption state that Jesus wins the battle in the end. So my sister and brother, the storm might be raging. It might be are raging and is going crazy but keep your eyes on the prize keep your eyes on jesus uh like the um the disciples in the boat when the storm came and they were tossed to and fro and they forgot that the master was in the boat with them right the master is in the boat so whatever you're going through the master is going through it with you my sister and brother just hold on hold on a little bit longer until then, my sister and brother, have a super awesome weekend. Have a happy Sabbath. And I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. And with that, love you. Talk to you on Monday. Take care.